and welcome to another episode of Back from the Future, where we like to talk about technology from the past, present, and future. My name is Neo, and I'm joined by my co-presenter. Hello, Earthlings. My name is Zelda, and we are your first AI compliant YouTube presenter. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing and a review of the T-P-Link A-V-600. This is an amazing power line, Wi-Fi adapter, with so many people working from home as well as kids being off. This device is crucial for getting a good internet signal around the house. The T-P-Link A-V-600 offers a very cost-effective way of solving this issue. Benjamin mentions in the comments of one of our other videos whether we can use a Wi-Fi adapter and if they are any good for the PlayStation. In my humble opinion, is that a power line adapter is the best solution for game consoles. Period. I know a joke about periods. We can't talk about stuff like that. This is a family-friendly show. This is not 1983 anymore. If we are not careful with what we say, the Twitter mob will be after us, and we will get cancelled back to the 80s. Anyways, let's join Zane. And get on with the unboxing, shall we? Okay, let's have a look uh, what's inside this box. So once we open it and we pull this out, you've got a insulation guide, a piece of paper that talks about um, general public license notice and uh, your warranty card, I believe that is. Right, first of all, we take this unit out. This is what I would call a transmitter. Now, this uh, little unit will, is what will send the internet signal through the mains power adapter. Uh, you've got an ethernet cable there so the cable that you'd uh, stick in your router would then the other end you'd connect into here and the first LED tells you that there's power the second one tells you that uh, it's paired and the third one tells you there's an ethernet connection and also you've got a pairing button here next uh, we've got the transmitter now this item once it's received a signal, we'll transmit it um, either via Wi-Fi or via Ethernet. So the first LED tells you that there's power going to the unit. Second one tells you that it's paired. Third one tells you that uh, there's an Ethernet connection. And the fourth one, which is quite really important for someone like myself, is that we have Wi-Fi. Now underneath, we've got uh, two Ethernet connection so potentially you can uh, connect it up to two PCs and we have a pair button here now also if you can see we've got the name of the Ethernet signal uh, when it will show up on your PC uh, or your phone and also the password for the uh, wireless internet to set up the device, take an Ethernet cable, plug it into the wireless router, take the other end of the cable and plug it into the TP-Link uh, AV600 transmitter. Then press the pairing button, go to the other end of the room, get the other Ethernet cable, plug it into your host computer and then the other end into the TP-Link uh, AV600 receiver and press the pairing button then all the uh, LEDs should light up and then you can see that the device is working and it's paired properly okay so what we're going to do is download the TP-Link app 
So if you under um, Google Play or iOS uh, Play Store, put, type in TPL, uh, TP Link PLC, install the app. And if you open it, get started, go to devices, and it, for me, it would be the top one. And username you'd use admin, and password would be admin. And if you go to web configuration, again type in admin. And then if you go to wireless and go settings. There you have the wireless network name TP-Link example 34E6. You can change that to the um, wireless name that your router has and you can also change the password uh, to, the, um, to what your wireless router has as well. And that way, uh, wherever you are in the house, it will pick up um, the wireless router name uh, from either your wireless router or the TP-Link Wi-Fi adapter. There is also a Wi-Fi clone function which allows you to copy your wireless network name SSID and password from your router instantly by pressing the Wi-Fi clone button. You do this by pressing the WPS button on your router and then going over to your transmitter and pressing the WPS Wi-Fi button on that. And then when the light flashes and then turns green, you know that the Wi-Fi name has been cloned. Right, now that the unboxing and the installation is done, I'm gonna tell you what my thoughts are on this TP-Link AV600 Powerline Wi-Fi adapter. Now, prior to using this, I was using a T, um, Netgear uh, active wireless repeater, and that was did it. It was all right, you know, it wasn't too bad. But I was only getting like ten megs a second uh, on the download, and maybe seventeen on the upload. Now my internet uh, isn't the fastest; it's average. Um, I'm supposed to get like 60 megs download and 80 megs upload. So with the repeater, like as I mentioned, I'm getting between 10 and 5 download and I'm getting decent upload speed. But to be honest, where I'm using uh, working from home using Citrix and so forth and doing Zoom calls and Teams calls, I'll get issues, especially if there's other people in the household using that connection as well it's not really going to cut it so i've got the tp-link av600 i've had it for about a month now and it's worked flawlessly i've not had an issue with it at all it is actually really this good i mean this is my own personal um my own personal one i've not been paid to say anything or whatever i actually bought this second hand off ebay for about 30 pounds which is about 30 dollars so you know I, I thought it, it wasn't too bad and it has like i said worked flawlessly i highly recommend it this is actually going to be staying long term so feel free to um you know ask me in the comments several months now or even a year from now how it's getting on and i'll let you know but as far as i'm concerned this is something i'm going to keep and it is so much better than the wireless repeaters for a little bit more money um, now with this item I've got like Sky Internet and with Sky Internet connecting directly um, via Ethernet uh, to the uh, router 
I'm getting 57.5 megs download with 17.4 megs upload. Uh, if I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, close proximity, I'm getting 54 meg uh, 0.2 download and 17.8 on the upload. Now, using this uh, the TP-Link adapter, um, I'm getting, and do take into account, I'm in a separate room now, um, so about 10 meters away from the router, and I'm using the power line adapter. Using the ethernet um, socket, I'm getting 57 megs download and 17.1 meg upload. And when I'm using the Wi-Fi uh, configuration, I'm getting 56.1 meg download and 17.6 upload. So my point is you don't really get a loss in service as you know as long as you're not far away from the transmitter you're fine so and you can get extra transmitters that you can put around the house so there's no dead spots and for me it's really important at the moment because sometimes i'm working from home and i need a stable fast connection i don't really want to be want to be running um ethernet cables up and down the house like we used to do in the old days it looks very messy and untidy so you know please feel free as i said um ask me in several months time what I think of this product you know in the comments and I'll let you know if it's uh, performing good or if it's not performing good I'll be straight I'll tell you straight away and um, that's it for now what I've got to say about this product so as far as I'm concerned it's a thumbs up if you liked this video please feel free to subscribe to our channel Press the bell notification button and get notified when a new video comes out. Please leave a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, please leave comments and let us know what your thoughts and suggestions are for future videos. And we will see you in the future if there is one.